Shining off the cross, hanging from the mirror of my ride. Breeze blowing in, your hair blowing round. Your skin and food stays on, thank you for that music sound. Good stuff. Who are the people involved in your beef operation? My whole family is involved on our farm. It's been passed down from generation to generation. Um, it's our life and we're proud of it. There are so many great people who contribute to the beef industry. They all play an important role in helping us produce high quality, safe products. Thank you, Lyndon. Uh, Grady, uh, how does the environment affect uh, raising beef? Um, I think that a sustainable environment for raising beef is to have fresh, clean water and less green grass. Our beef cattle help the environment by naturally fertilizing the land. It has increased the production of the land. It has been, in our, it has been our family's goal to leave the land better for the next generation than we receive it. What are the chores and livelihood in raising beef? Our livelihood is um, that everybody is a part of your family. Your whole family is a part of it, and your cattle always comes the first. The chore part of it is that they will be always put before you and eat before you do, and your chores they always come first. And how we uh, do the chores to keep your livelihood for them to stay uh, healthy looking and regular health. How often do you handle your, handle your cattle and what is important when you're handling them? Beef cattle don't really have to be handled that often, but when you do handle them, it's important that it's done in a very low stress way. The application of pressure um, needs to be done at the right place in the right time and that takes a while to get right and it's essential in getting the cattle to go where you want them to. A well-trained horse and a well-trained dog also are very helpful when you're moving cattle. How is your beef safe? Our beef is safe because we put pegs in our animals. So if there's a problem or a disease, you can trace it back to your farm. And we also have rules about needles. Uh, you have to wait until it's out of their system so that they can go to market. In the summertime, they graze grass in our pastures with a natural water source. And in the winter, they keep they get hay that we put up and green combine from our crops. How do you take care of your animals, um, health-wise and nutrition-wise? Um, approximately, a cow needs about six football fields to graze and to live comfortably uh, all winter long. And um, they they live on about six to seven bales per cow in the winter, which each bale weighs about 1,200 to 1,400 pounds. This is who we are! Thank you.